Welcome to NAB 2019 and enter the Sharp booth. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to the new compact 8K camera from Sharp. So this new Sharp 8K camera uh, supports micro four thirds lenses. It also has a, uh, a four thirds size uh, 16 by nine uh, CMOS developed by Sharp. Um, we use shoot in 8K um, at um, 10 bit, uh, 420, and uh, we could also do 30 frames per second. Um, at 4K, we could go up to 60 frames per second, also the same at, uh, at HD. Yes, yeah, so we have uh, uh, several outputs. We have 8K HDMI output, which you, you can see here behind me, so you can get that beautiful picture. Um, you, you can send that out to a screen or another size display. We also have a USB Type-C output, which is great for uh, connecting to external storage. Um, it has a, uh, currently this product has a 64 gigabyte SD card in it, um, which will give you about 30 minutes um, of storage, which is fabulous. Uh, at a, um, using the H.265 uh, codec. So, um, so moving into that 420 space really um, dropped the file size down in the H.265 codec. But adding the external drive, you can get a tremendous amount of storage uh, off of this device in a compact size. Sure. So the product consumes seven watts of power, which is really low for something like this that doesn't have a viewfinder, and just uses this large 5.5 touchscreen LCD, which is operating all the time. We haven't released the, uh, the life of something like that, but we've been operating it here for hours at a time in the show booth, and we don't need to swap the battery out like every 30 minutes. So we're expecting a, um, a terrific battery life on this product. That's right, so it doesn't have a viewfinder, so basically you use this 5.5 inch display to basically, uh, it's touch screen, so you could do touch focus. Um, this current uh, uh, incarnation of the product doesn't have autofocus, but the final product will have autofocus, but we could use this to do manual focus and then set your framing through the LCD. Right, so we haven't finalized the dynamic range spec, but the engineers are targeting around uh, 13 stops. This product's gonna be under $4,000 um, and available in the second half of this year, so that we expect that this really makes it accessible to a broader range, and this way we can drive you know, a lot more AK content development into the market.